Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to quickly show you how to check if a string contains any digits or numbers using Java. So let's get right into it. So in our main method we're going to do string str equals this one string contains one, two, two, three, and some letters. And then we're going to do system.printline contains digits str. This string represents user input, click the eye up in the corner if you want to know how to get user input using Java. You don't need to, but it synergizes perfectly with this tutorial. And then we're going to print out the result of our validation if it contains digits or not. Let's get into defining the function. So this is going to be the entire function. We're going to do public static boolean contains digits string input. So it's going to return a true or a false because we want to return a boolean. Contains digits is the name of the of the function or in Java we call them methods and string input is the one parameter and it's going to be what we want to validate or to check if there are any digits or numbers in. Then we're going to do return input dot matches this little beauty of a string which will mean for the description below for you to copy and paste but basically it's a regex pattern and it's checking if there is a digit which is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 or 9 in the string. It just needs to find one and it's happy. And we can do input.matches to check if our string that we're checking matches the rules defined in the rejects. In this case, it's is there at least one digit. If there is at least one digit, this returns a true because our string contains digits. If there aren't any digits, this returns a false because there are no digits. If this contains five digits, it still returns a true because there's at least one digit. With all of that, save your work and hit play. And it returns a true because there's multiple digits. We're going to remove all the digits, put in an exclamation mark, and hit play. It's still true. Now, what if we remove the one? Well, now it's a false because there are no digits. There's only letters and special characters. Thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Java tutorials. Thanks for watching.